energy medicine practitioner. That's a fascinating <laughs> title and name. Could you share with our viewers um, how you came to be um, in this profession and um, and, and, and and why uh, why you yeah. chose this methodology of healing as opposed to other methodologies yeah. of healing that are out there? I'm well, when I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia in 1988, it really didn't even have a name. And the medical community did not recognize it then. You see ads for it now for medicine on television, right? But, yes. you know, and, and at that time, uh, nobody believed it existed. So I was called crazy vis-a-vis -vis the title. And the medical community did not really have any remedies that helped me a great deal. So by the grace of God and by the fact that I had been a dancer most of my life, either avocationally or a dance teacher, and I had been in dance classes to heal myself before, my medical doctor sent me back to that. And in the process, I met an energy medicine practitioner. And in the first mm. session, she said to me, you need to do this work. And I believed her. I just knew that this was something, again, that God was giving me this great gift. And she said, you need to study this work and I have the perfect teacher for you. And she sent me to one Roger Gilchrist, wherever you are in the world, I love you, Roger. And he started me on the journey and I really didn't set out to be a practitioner. You know, that idea was <laughs> not in my head anyway. Mm -hmm. But because I've always been a professional student, in order to learn the work, I had to practice. So I had to right. set up a practice. Yeah, by default, being a student, you had to practice, you had to have so many hours. So as I practiced and as people came forward, whom I could help, it just gravitated to me getting into it more. And then I got additional credentials. I'm a polarity therapist, I'm board certified. I'm a registered cranial sacral therapist. Google it. Well, I had to, I had to Google, I had to Google what a uh, emerge an energy medicine practitioner was. I Googled it and and I gained so much knowledge from that. And 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 I, I see it in you, Paula. And so when, when, I, when, I, when I Googled it and saw it, I said, well, it seemed like a natural fit. So yes, it um, was a it, perfect it, fit. Mm -hmm. And I said it saved my life and it still <laughs> saves my life every day because it was not mm -hmm. only something I could use to help others, it was something I could use to take care of myself. So from that, I went into becoming what I now consider I'm a self-care guru. <laughs> okay. And uh, so, and what it, it's a natural healing system. And believe it or not, in addition to a uh, physiologic anatomy, we have an energy anatomy in our bodies. Absolutely. And so an energy medicine practitioner works with your energy anatomy and holistic, all the holism, you know, the, the mental, the spiritual, the emotional, the physical, we work with all of that as one complete human sentient being that needs help. Right? <laughs> Can you give us like a quick like introduction to what your energy anatomy is? Yes, I can. Uh, there are lines of energy that go north, south. We call them the long lines. And there are five of those on each side of the body, which correspond to our five you know, fingers, call them the long lines. And those long lines correlate with the central nervous system. So I can actually help someone to calm the nervous system, which is one thing energy medicine does well by working with the long lines of the body. The All energy right. anatomy that we call the long lines of the body, right? right. which I can All palpate right. with my hands. I need to book an appointment. That, that, okay, I, we okay, all I, need to book an appointment. Okay, we, we all we all need to book an appointment. And, and ladies, yeah. for all of you who are who are seeing this tonight, welcome, welcome to. He said, he said, he said. We will have this information up for you and how you can contact Paula. Because believe me, if I said I need to see her, you need to see her too. Okay, so okay, yeah. we we gonna go there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm grateful. Right. I'm really grateful that God introduced me to this work and has kept me in it. Okay, you know, and kept me sharing it. And, yeah. and good at it. My sister just commented. She said she does too. Yes, you do, sweetheart. And we gonna talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I specifically, if it's wanted to bring it to the community, because there were not many of us, many African Americans, people of color, in my classes all these years that I've been studying. And so I, God also showed me that. He said, you know, you need to take this to the people. <laughs> okay. You need to take right. this to the people because we don't know about it. Right. Hmm. Yet we know about our native, you know, practices from the motherland. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, and a lot of my Yoruba clients have been the most responsive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's in us. You just got to bring it out.